almond milk, almond milk. Excellent. Siri, can you convert grams to milliliters? What the? Can a large bowl or a sand mixer? A oh, large bowl. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. You may have noticed already that Mama McManus is not in this video today. And that is because it is her birthday! So on today's episode, we have a special guest, Miss Katie McManus, my sister. <laughs> and we decided that since it's her birthday, we are going to make her a vegan birthday cake for today's video. But Katie, do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? I'm just Allie's older sister. You're not a vegan? I'm not a vegan. No, I still like my meat. But she is open to eating vegan, so hopefully this cake turns out good for all of us. Also, I'm a little bit sick today, a little hungover. A lot hungover. A lot hungover. <laughs> so bear with us. But the cake that I picked out, it's a recipe from Wallflower Kitchen. It's a lemon cake that is vegan. This will be the second vegan birthday cake that I attempt to make. The first one actually was a chocolate cake and it was pretty good. Hopefully it turns out right. And hopefully you guys will be able to see how easy it is to make a vegan birthday cake and maybe you'll want to make one for your mom's birthday too. You want to see how to make this really tasty birthday cake? Keep watching. So the first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. After you preheated your oven to 350 degrees, you're gonna want to zest one lemon. We should probably peel off this, eh? Yeah, we should probably take the sticker off. So yeah, just zest one lemon into a large bowl. So that's about one lemon zested, so we're just gonna cut it in half now. Save the other half for later, and then squeeze the juice of this one into the bowl. After you zest your lemon and added your lemon juice, you're gonna add in 360 milliliters of almond milk. Now we're just going to mix this and then let it sit for a few minutes to curdle a bit. So as our wet mix is just sitting for a few minutes to curdle, we're gonna prep the dry ingredients now. So for the dry ingredients, it's going to be your self-rising flour, baking soda, and some cornstarch. So you're gonna to wanna to add in 250 milliliters of self-rising flour. Then you're gonna to wanna to add in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then Katie's gonna add in half a teaspoon of baking soda. Why are you giving me that hard one? Bacon, what is that? Is there a song like that? Bacon soda. Baking it in the bacon soda. And then just mix these all together in your little bowl. Nice and fluffy. Nice, nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. When our dry mix is done, we're gonna finish up with the wet mix. So, Katie, you wanna bring it over, please? Yeah. Your wet mixture should have had time to curdle during that process. And now we're just gonna add in the rest of the ingredients to the wet mixture, which is our caster sugar, vanilla, and sunflower oil. So, caster sugar is actually kind of hard to find at grocery stores, we noticed. But it's super simple to make at home. So basically, you just take your normal granulated, granulated sugar and put it in a blender, a food processor, and just kind of blend it up until it becomes soft and powdery. So that's what we've done here. So we have 230 milliliters that we're going to add into our wet mixture now. And then 110 milliliters of sunflower oil. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Lastly, you're just going to slowly add in your dry ingredients. So Katie's going to slowly pour it in as I mix. So Katie's now just going to start to line a baking sheet with some coconut oil. And then we are going to transfer this mix into the pan. So the cake mixture was actually pretty clumpy when I was just mixing it with the spoon. So I whipped it up with our actual... Looks smoother now. Yeah. It is a watery, like a more watery type of thing. Yeah, it's not like say. thick. It's not very thick, but we'll see how it turns out. Technically, this is a taste test because I've never done this recipe before, but the batter does taste good. It's just very liquidy right now. 
as it's baking in the oven, we're gonna start to prep the icing. So for the icing, you're going to need a vegan butter. I like to use Earth Balance. Icing sugar, vanilla extract, and then the other half of the lemon that we used earlier. So you're gonna add in 300 grams of vegan butter. Then you're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk these together. After you whisk together the vanilla and the butter, you're gonna to start to slowly add in 450 grams of icing sugar. And you're gonna add in half a juice of lemon. So we're just gonna set this to the side, take our cake out of the oven, let it cool for a bit, and then ice it away. We hope that you enjoyed this special edition of Allie Can Cook featuring Katie. We're gonna put in a clip right now of my mom actually trying out her birthday cake after dinner tonight, because obviously we didn't want to eat her cake without her yeah. first. Uh, so I'll put that in right here. Happy birthday, Rob. mom. Thank Happy birthday, so mom. Birthday. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We try to make new videos every single Thursday on this channel, testing out different vegan recipes, showing you that you can indeed cook vegan and make delicious vegan birthday cakes. So definitely check out our channel, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. We're just gonna show them the mice in the cake. We're not gonna do it. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna do, do it. Do it like that. Do one the Discovery Channel.